Mr. Henry, it's finally nice to meet you in person. Indeed. Now, I understand that you can help me with my situation. It's not what I can do for you, but what you can do for me. I beg your pardon? I have the thing that you so dearly need. Do you really think I would give that up free of charge? Would you? I'm glad we're on the same page. What do you want? Uh, Mr. Charles, the night is young. Let us enjoy this wonderful atmosphere. A drink. The view. Oh, I suppose... Tell me about yourself, dear. Explain to me the essence of Dean Francis Charles. How did you know my full name? Mr. Charles, I am a very wealthy man. Surely you don't need to ask such a question. Sir, I don't mean to be rude, but a friendship is not what I meant to get out of this. Ah, a businessman. One with no class, but a businessman nonetheless. I didn't mean it like that. Not to worry, Charles. We all have our motives. It's not that. It's just that I have a family, and I wouldn't want anyone to get in the way of that. <laughs> then why on earth would you tell me? You don't need to worry at all, Charles. Just watch your mouth. What do you want? It, if you really must know, it's quite simple. I simply want one night of your time and the use of your skills. I have to admit I was not expecting this. My practice hasn't been in service for years. All the better then. Get the family business running again to its full potential. Sir, I have money if that's what you wish. I have diamonds, girls. I simply want one night of your time. Shall we take this conversation elsewhere? Now you may be wondering why I've chosen you for this job. Mr. Henry, sir, with all due respect, I believe I sought you out. Of course. But you did not. As I was saying, you are the only living former FBI agent with a PhD in criminal investigations and foreign relations. I highly doubt that. You're right. That was a lie. But it sounded astute, did it not? Uh... And to put it bluntly, you will have experience in killing quietly with a few resources. I don't know if I can commit to something like that again. Ah, uh, but you cannot continue without my aid, Mr. Charles. Oh, sir, I... Well, take it or leave it. One night from you in exchange for a prosperous life that I know you so greatly desire. Wonderful. You'll find details in your refrigerator. I beg your pardon, did you just say my refrigerator? Yes. Good day, Mr. Charles. It's been lovely to finally meet you in person.